This video is about the compressor I use for my air guns. I was asked by RDF Studios to do a little video about my compressor that lets me get to the higher pressures that I like to use. So here's the video. This compressor came from a 1970s era ugly refrigerator that when we were moving it, we managed to drop it down a flight of stairs. It fell on its back, breaking the, the coils, and uh, all the gas came out, so the ancient fridge was then useless. So we brought it to the machine shop, and the first thing I did was very carefully study the wiring to the compressor, so that I would be able to wire it up outside the fridge and know that it was wired properly and would run. If you're going to salvage a compressor from a fridge or a freezer, study the wiring carefully before you do anything. It'll make it a lot easier to get it wired up. Once I had the compressor out, which only took a few minutes with a wrench to free the four quarter twenty bolts that were holding it down, and a little hacksaw and tubing cutter cutting to cut the copper lines, the compressor was free and out of the fridge. I made a little plywood base for it that you can see it sitting on and I provided a uh, box with a uh, switch on it so that I can turn it on and off easily. There's the switch. I'll zoom back out. I also built from copper tubing a little manifold. You'll notice a pressure gauge at the top of it. The gauge that's mounted there right now reads from 0 to 500 pounds. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Yes, we can. This is the gauge I use for most of my air cannon shooting. I don't normally go above 500 pounds, but I can. The pressure gauge, partially hidden at the back, well, we can see it now is a 0 to 4,000 PSI gauge if I wanted to go higher. The black hose here is a hydraulic hose. It's quarter inch and it can take a maximum pressure of 350 bar, 5100 PSI. So this hose is not going to let go. You can get one from a hydraulic supplier. For the kind of pressure from these compressors, you don't want to use anything less than a high-rated hydraulic hose. The connector on the end is a uh, standard, uh, I believe, Type M shop air coupler. These are only usually rated to 300 PSI, but this particular one seems to be good quality, and it's uh, withstood the few times I've gone up to 750 PSI with no problems, no hissing, no leaks. So this does and will work. I'm going to change the camera angle and we're going to take a better look at the uh, manifold that I made and whatnot. Here I've turned the thing so we can see the side of it and can see where the copper lines that used to work the refrigerator come in and out of the body of the compressor. When you first get your thing wired up and built on its base, turn it on, and you'll find one of the tubes is a suction where the compressor will take its air in, and you'll find another tube coming out from the body where the compressed air is blown out of the device. So here the output of the compressor comes into this little manifold 
which can trap water or excess oil at the bottom, and there's a little set screw you can't see, which I can remove to drain that if necessary. Then uh, this is a half inch copper tube here. I soldered a fitting into the top that allows the uh, air gauge to be threaded in, or the higher pressure air gauge to be substituted and threaded in. Then I've got a little piece of copper coming off to another threaded fitting I salvaged that allows the uh, hydraulic hose that I bought to be tightly and leak-proof screwed in there. It's a fairly simple thing to set up. It does take a little while to pump an air cannon up to 500 PSI, but these do work. And if you can get a bigger one from, say, an industrial-sized freezer or something, it would pump up your air cannon a little faster. As I'm getting another compressor soon, I might do a build video for the next compressor like this that I make up. Here I'm just going to pressurize the supply line, that high pressure hydraulic hose, just to see what kind of pressure we can get out of one of these. Well, there's 500 pounds. A little past 800 PSI now. You can see it takes a while to even pressurize the hose, and I would say around 800 PSI is all this particular unit can do. No wonder it took so long to bring the air cannon up to 750 the other day. So yes, we have an 800 pound compressor here. and turn it off. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this was informative.